By now you've probably heard of Novel AI's Llama 3 Erato, their latest and greatest in models for text gen. It's been quite a long time since they have released another model, so this one was highly anticipated. Luckily I've had the chance to test drive the model for almost a whole entire month now, and that's what I'm going to bring to you, my findings and research on how good it is and what it is, or what makes it different from the other models that we have. Let's go with a quick read over of their uh, change log here. Erato is only available to Opus subscribers. She's based off a of Llama 370B. With an 8192 token context size, she's much more logical and coherent than any of the previous models, okay? And from what I can tell, that's probably pretty true. She's trained on Shogi Compute, right? That's how they trained her. But they did not switch over the tokenizer to their Nerdstash V2 tokenizer. They instead kept the Llama 3 tokenizer because it offers a higher compression ratio, allowing you to fit more of your story into the context, which is just um, not really something you'll be noticing too often, I don't think. They did add a few things to the documentation, so we'll go over that in a hot minute here. And oh, they added partial, partial uh, word completion. So now if you try and generate on a half word then it'll try and complete the word for you or it will complete the word for you it should be a little bit better at japanese and multilingual capabilities and it's only on opus tier and they apparently fixed something we're going to try out this zany scribe i had a little bit of experience with it at the beginning but i did not go back to it because it seemed to be still a little bit repetitious to me we'll take a look at it and i don't think there's anything else here now, I'm sure that some of you guys have also had the experience of trying out Erato, and I'm really excited to hear exactly what you guys have got going on with it. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it to your liking? Do you not like it? Do you like the older models? What is going on with Erato to you guys? So, right off the gate, what's new with Erato? First thing I notice is the lack of a module category here, but I have tested it, and it does seem that they do have it like they do have the compatibility for it it's just like built in i suppose it i guess it's just already compatible out of the gate which takes out a lot of the stress of having to even think about switching them over or having it happen automatically on the other ones give it a try one of the only other notable things about the llama 3 erato model is the new star rating system which is just another component even though it's not a part of ATTG, it's the thing that comes after ATTG. Basically, it adds a set level of complexity, much like what I would do with um, Microstat uh, in the older models, right? So this thing, I don't know exactly how effective it is. It seems to work best between 1 through 4, from what I can tell, and the members say the same. So give this a try to try and set the complexity. From my testing though, I still think that Microstat has more of a visible effect in the complexity of your writing. So if you can master Microstat, then probably use it over this. See which one works for you though. Now then, I did omit one other thing that came out, and it was kind of important. Just before Erato dropped, we got new uh, settings. New options for settings, which is including Unifier, which I really liked. I think I only got like a day of testing before Arato came out, but I tried it on Kyra and I liked the linear, I mean the unifier way of doing things. And you'll notice here the linear quad config. I don't think that nucleus is part of it, right? Nucleus sampling, but unified is usually just those three right here. This thing came out just before it, and it's almost a part of every single one. It's a sampler for every single one, right? So if you notice a big change between the difference of them, this is probably what's different in the settings. This is not like many of the other models at all. Not to say that it's a bad change, it's just different. And I don't know exactly if you can use the old ones to a fair degree here or if these are just better for the new for the tokenizer that they used or whatever the case is i'm not gonna lie i don't know too much about samplers and 
options that way. But I do know they use Unifier more often than not in every single one. So if you've got a better understanding of why they would use Unifier for Irato settings only, other than it just coming out at the same time, let me know, I'd love to know. Technically, it should just be a pretty easy change to go from Kyra and Irato. But with the tokenizer differences, there might be a bit of a struggle. Not to say that it won't work, but you might notice, you know, a, a little bit of variation in the writing style and everything as you switch over. I've heard the same thing whenever people put in a prompt from chat GPT into here and then try and work on it with a model from here. And it's two different models, two different things going on and sometimes that can cause a bit of a conflict now let's see how a simple instruct prompt does okay so we have a dog named sparky who's a firefighter so this this made the dog part of the crew just fine a reasonable way to interpret the prompt let's try something a little different then because we want to give it multiple different chances let's get it to write about a monster from the swamp oh poor guy yeah absolute lonely chap oh okay Okay, clearly it's pretty good at simple prompts. I wonder how it would do mid-story, though. Let's let's give that a try. I'll see if I can find one that is fine to work with here, and we'll go into Irato and just try it mid-story. Okay, here's a bit of a story that I was working on midway through with Instruct going in. It's about a native bumblebee community on a planet not the most interesting story um but it should be a good enough example of how irato can be used to influence and interact with things somewhat like text adventure it's just another way of doing things or prompting the story to go somewhere right Kind of, it's kind of brand new, but it, it should get the point across that it's pretty effective. It's pretty effective. And also, this story is not very complex either. Oh, and this is an example of Zany Scribe doing its thing, and also a star rating example. Actually, this is just one of the things that I was working on with Arato. And it's been great. It's been, as you can tell, even though it's short, it's been very descriptive maybe a few errors but it's still it, it looks good reads good enough you know maybe there's a few things here and there that aren't quite right that i would iron out later but so far it's just been we're setting things up setting up a setting setting up what the people are how they do things and all that good stuff okay now here's my attempt at Irato with text adventure just to give a little bit of an example okay this is golden arrow nothing in memory I think we did a lore book didn't even do lore book but we totally introduced a character to start us off here this is what we've sort of done we've sort of given them context for a character and it's sort of built on it as we went as you can see it takes to the text adventure action prompts very well just like the instruct and is all i had to do was turn on text adventure there's nothing else going on here really i'm pretty sure it's just basic very basic everything is as generic as it can happen right and i think it went pretty darn well uh, just for a short little glimpse into how it's going to handle it. So if I had to guess, this is this is going to be the quality that you're getting. And so far in most of the storytelling stories that I've had, it's been perfectly fine. As you can see here, there's, you know, well, there's less blocks around, but you get the idea that uh, it's been pretty good. I've seen, I've been able to do complex character dialogues, like dialogues with weird dialects very easily very easily transpose things onto characters but keeping them there is still going to require lore book and you know memory maybe a little bit of reminding still but still way more coherent 
at least to me, and it's got it's pretty knowledgeable as well. I loved one of my stories because it had a a race that was you know non-human, and it described how they moved very gracefully, right? And it, I loved it because they were in places that I did not expect at all, and I wish I had it, but it was very good to see, and I like that. Now, from my experience with Erato so far, I've had about a month of working with it, right? It's not been all peachy, cheeky rainbows either. Like I said before, Zany Scribe in the beginning, at least whenever I tested it, it was pretty repetitive. I, I don't know if I just came in at the wrong time. I'm pretty sure I came in after they said they fixed it and it was still pretty repetitive. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that was just my bad or something. There are, it's a little bit, it's way more coherent, right? Like it's, it's way more knowledgeable, way smarter, but it's also got, it's easier to mess up is what I can tell. I can tell that it's like somewhat pretty finicky a little bit but it also works very well with the um attg and the lore book so you can somewhat use that to emphasize its strengths as well if you're not getting what you want purely out of a starter story most of the time i start with a starter story and maybe it's just because i've been here long enough i sort of know how to iron out the kinks or figure out exactly what's causing problems whenever I'm prompting or writing a story. I can notice repetition pretty quickly and just get rid of it. I can notice, like, uh, adverbs being used a little too much. That was a problem with Kyra a good bit. I'm pretty sure I got the adverb lock-in, because those are kind of hard to notice. But it would just be lee 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 at, the ev at every word. And, you know, so each of them has a little bit of problems, right? But this one so far, I think it's fine. I don't think it's the worst. I have seen a lot of Reddit things that think it's like god awful, god, god tier trash or something. You know what I'm saying? But I, I hope that you can figure out how to use it. And I'm always available for questions or, you know, trying to help you figure out how to get things done. But I've seen pretty good improvement in even older stories, right? Like stories that I would have trouble writing with Kyra or Cleo or Utropy, where, you know, there may be something a little difficult to understand. It does it pretty darn well. Like I used to have... Uh, and Kyra did a good job at it. It was an all right job. But I used to have one where it was like mind linked pilot and ship in space. You guys probably saw that one a little bit. Wasn't bad at it, but I go back with Erato now and I'm like, darn, that's pretty good. <laughs> I can make it, I don't have to like iron out as many kinks and it's more coherent. So I really do urge you to give it a try and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Join the league if you care, and have a good one.